Well, hello, my glittery unicorns. In this episode, we are going to have the second date with Joseph. Let's see how this goes. Let's just start it. This is Dream Daddy, by the way. Welcome. Margarita you Zone. Second date with Joseph. So, let's message him. We can only have two dates with each one before we decide which one is our Dream Daddy. He's a little bit more trickier because he's like a really honest guy and he likes like to be happy and stuff like that So I cannot be like my bitchy normal self because he doesn't like that Not at all Okay, it's been a long day of clipping coffins looks like there is a cell of boxed brownie mix Hmm, That reminds me. I wonder what Joseph is up to I should see if he wants to hang out or he wants to go to the store with me and use the coupons. Look like he's online. Hey Joseph, wanna hang? It takes a moment for Joseph to respond. Oh, Likorn, hope you're finally recovered from your brownie induced coma. And I know I promised you a fun hang, but tonight I'm actually chaperoning a, a Joan Group mixer. Amanda's invited, of course. If you are not doing anything, you should come. Oh, that sounds nice. And be a chaperone with me because I need help. Less nice. I think for a moment, I'm a little bummed out, of course. I suppose I just want something. Some me and Joseph time. Maybe to get to know him a little bit better. Oh, what the heck. My friend needs my help. I type it back. But if you need me, you got me. Just tell me where I need to be tonight. Just let me know the details I start as soon as you get ready. Let's go. I knock on Amanda's doors and peek in. Hey Amanda, I'm about to head out. Right. Where are you go where are you off to? Are you going to do go extreme copying? Hmm. I'm actually going to chop around this Joe Mixer dance thing. That's happening at Joseph Church. He says you're invited, but if you don't want to come, I cover for you. Hmm. You know what? I'm down. Maybe I can make some new friends. That's a good attitude. But I have to know that I'm mostly doing this for the potential of free food. Thank you, Amanda. You get four daughter points today. Mm. Can I try them in for a daughter lava lamp? Sorry. You only have enough for a daughter spider ring or something of those daughter plastic jumpy frog thingies. I like those things. They try their hardest, it's inspirational. Hmm. We arrive at the church to find out that nobody's there. There are decorations and balloon and banners and everything, but no dudes. That's really bad. Jesus is coming. 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 All right, Teresa. It's flavored with blank. Coming. Oh, oh, you mean cumin? Coming. Yeah, yeah, it's pronounced cumin. Coming. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, this is so foxing. Wah, wah. We are, uh, but there is no mm. use. Hmm. I've been to a couple of dances in my life, and know that I want to paint myself as some sort of dance expert, but generally, dancers require people. <laughs> and those people need to be dancing. All of a sudden, Joseph jokes off to us, he looks frazzled. <laughs> You're here! I need your help! Joseph gestures to a hand painter banner to hang out about the church. He says, reason is Jesus is coming. I know, I read it right away! It's really bad. Whoa! Yikes. Ah. Well, that's certainly a thing. Uh -huh. God made all things, Amanda. Mm. Oh. Except for the banner. Ernest made that. I generally can't tell if they meant that maliciously or he just can't spell good. Yeah. You know what the God also does? Forgives. He forgives teenagers and he never ever breaks their box moods. Mm -hmm. Are you going to break Ernest's box mood? Uh -huh. No, Amanda. That would be a sin. Huh? I think it's the one right after slot. Oh. Likorn, I need your help getting this down before anyone sees it. Can I swing that, Amanda? Can you help? Mm. I physic physical labor. Mm. Huh? Mm. Mm. 
Manda being rapidly scanning the most empty room looking for escape route of her own. I have to go set up the food. Uh. The food is already set up. I'm going to do a final inspection pass on the food to make sure it's up to code. I'm gonna eat your food. Amanda is able to pull away before myself and Joseph can get another word in. Which she can really book it when she wants to. Her father was a giant part of legs. <laughs> I did it some giant arms once, but I turned out that they were all right. What? You must have been devastated. <laughs> It was Armageddon. Oh gosh, you're so hilarious. Oh. No, it is. I get it. Hey. I worsh. It worsh a bit. There is a gem in there somewhere. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here, Laker. Are you enjoying my company or did I just lure me into here for my strong arms and height advantage? <laughs> hey. A little for both. It's always something with you, Joseph. Yeah. Something handsome and poise? <gasps> you are not that poise. I am. Debatable. You're just a little too breaking the chills bait pen. Oh. I will be lost in the debate. Oh. <laughs> you ready to do this? Let me make some magic happen. <laughs> magic is in real liquor. God says that. God was also a bush one time. <laughs> True. Joseph and I grabbed the splatter and walked up to Ernest Bahana. Yeah. That third Ernest hat on the final trick of his sleep. Looks like his nightmare is his tablet and tapered six away from the Sunday. Uh, six away from the Sunday. Any ideas? Cracker what happens to your strong arm ad and ad hate advantage? Alright, I forgot about those. But I realized my oversized dot fingers are too large to get leverage on the tiny staples. You got a hammer I can use to pry this off? Yeah. Lickern, this is a church. We are a, a little nervous around hammers. And nails. Tricky subject. Yeah. I'm kidding, we just don't have a hammer. Yeah. What do we have to hurry? The youths will be here any moment, and I will never hear the end of it if we don't fix this. Wait. I have an idea. I run and grab the marker that Ennis draw this thing and I jump back on the ladder. We can get it down, but we can send a different message. I only got one short here, here to do this right. Jesus is Cumin, coming. This isn't cumin, coming. This is it's calming. I'm ready to turn the U into A and an L somehow. It's a little tight, but it works. <laughs> well, that's true, I guess. Basking his calming presence, just relax. Chris is not buried. Let's just hope that the Jutes don't notice. Joseph checks his watch. Uh. Hmm, the DJ should be here by now. Just then the door swings open and a man throws on with a DJ equipment. Oh. Wait, you are not the usual guy. What happened to Evan? Evan knew exactly when to play the Cupid Shuffle. <laughs> hey hey, I'm not Evan. Evan sold all his DJ equipment to backpack through Europe, so I'm filling in for him. Alright! I do envy him. What I will give to drop everything and start over. <laughs> Are you alright? Alright, I'm better than alright. I'm DJ Spin Master Queen. He sings heavily, he sides heavily. I'm so sad. I used to do the nights, but uh, moon I moonlight on those towers to give myself a sense of purpose in life. Is he okay? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to do. You have ladies of Fun songs that you will like that won't inspire impurpose toads or tempt them to the dark side, right? Hey! The DJ thinks for a moment. Nice. Believe me, buddy. I got what you need. Hey. Okay, great. I'll let you get set up. The DJ leaves. 
Let's keep an eye on this one. He sounded like he was just going to play creepy by Radiohead on repeat. After some time, kids from the community start filling into the dance hall. Some of them seem to notice or sign hack, but they don't seem to care. Most of the kids group up into tiny clusters, standing in circles and casting sideways glance at other groups of teens. Man, I do not miss being a teenager at social functions. Hey, hey, party people! Everyone is in the room, turns his attention to the DJ. DJ Spin Master! DJ Spin Master Queen is coming at touch with the song that people want. We're off to a good start. The next thing goes to all the ladies in the audience. Ladies, let me hear you say yeah. A few half-hearted yes echoes through the crowd. All right. He sighs again. I'm so sad. Oh, <laughs> you are so sad. Oh man, it's been a heavy couple days. This next one is actually just for my wife Sandra. I hope we can work things out, my little honeysuckle vine. Now, who wants Did to you think he's playing radio creepy head? by Radiohead? <laughs> Um, yeah. Amanda slides up to me, beats in one hand and punching the other. Creep, huh? Bold choice for a jute group. Let's see where he goes with this. After a song finishing, he, he plays Creep again. Is the G DJ crying? <laughs> if you watch the kids really closely, you can catch them cringe every time Tom Jork swears. Ah. There they go. Maybe we should do something about this. Just around up to us. <laughs> He's killing the vibe. They are losing it to swears. Sad swears. <laughs> we have to do something. You guys sh should try to give him a peep talk. Maybe work him up to everybody hurt by Ram or at least no rain blind melon. You want to help us cheer him up? Um actually I just saw my friend oh Fred. Frederick. Frederico. Frederico? He's from Latin. I didn't know you were talking to a lot in class. Hmm. I'm not. Aww. So he's from the country Latin? Aww. Yes, it exists. Don't Google it. Girl. You can go, Amanda. It's fine. I am. Just when I make our way to the DJ booth, where Spin Master Queen have it quite cry. Hey, bud. All right. Hey, hey, my dudes, how is the party jamming? Hmm, mm, it's um, not. Oh, I'm sorry, fellas, I'm just talking a moment to find my groove. <laughs> Gotta play the sad tunes to appropriate appreciate bangers, right? Uh. What do I say? That's not how DJing works. He doesn't want inappropriate content, so this one is not good. So that's how not did you work. No, stop being fine out of line. Here, since I never been a DJ and I don't have any current plans to become one, but I don't think that's how it works. The kids came out here to have a good time. You, you gotta cool it on the sadness. <laughs> okay. Hey, buddy. If it's problems you are having with hey, hey! Joseph links close to me. Oh. <laughs> what was his wife's names again? Fuck! It's Susan and Sandy, I wasn't paying attention. Girl, I don't want to do all this conversation again. I think it's Susan. <laughs> no <laughs> It's Sandy. <laughs> no, it wasn't it was Sandra, fuck! Again. Uh, it's Sandra. <laughs> yes! Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm very good at it. Oh. I can tell you're hurting nobody voluntarily. Listen to that much radio head on repeat unless they're really going through some toe times. Trust me, I know. I this is a place of Hannah's been master's queen shoulder. We immediately collapse into Joseph's embrace crying quickly. Mm -hmm. Quietly. There, there, bud. It's going to be okay. Thank you. I pulled some dance halls anthems. Mm. You are the best, Bean Master Queen. With yet another crisis, Alberto, Joseph, and I return to the dance floor where Amanda is waiting with an ice cream cone. Hey. They have an ice cream here. Good work, Amanda. 
how it's looking out there. Well, for a dance, there is not a whole lot of dancing. Looks like people are starting to bail, though. <laughs> this is a disaster. Hey! Don't be so hard on yourself. This ice cream top notch. Hmm. I'm sorry for dragging you into this liquor. You and Amanda should just go home. I'm not going to make you stay here for the train wreck. It's not a disaster. We can still fix it. We can... Suddenly I realize what we have to do. Amanda, get out of here. I don't think you're gonna want to be here for this or be seen with me after this. <gasps> oh god, you're not going to... I throw my car keys to Amanda. I'll get a ride back with Joseph. Just remember me as I am right now, not as what I'm about to become. What I'm going to do? Mm -hmm. Amanda nods. Hmm. Nice knowing ya, yeah, pops. She runs up the door. Oh, cracker mills. Joseph, I'm going to turn it off the dance floor. With luck, we can get these suits into it as well. Are you in or out? Joseph stares at me. He knows what has to be done as much as I do. Huh. See you on the other side. See you on the other side. Just and I walk into the dance floor in the middle of the room. The dude stares at us, unsure what we are doing. Time to get our groove on. <laughs> Let's start them on the easy work of then more technical stuff. Start with the lawnmower? What's that? You push it like right and forward or roll the dice? I think is that the worm is going to be weird. Okay, let's roll the dice. The classy handshake dice throw the music. I'm a little off a bit, which is expected of any dad, but I think it's a nice bass link from work to work. Because it follows along, bumping his head to the beat. <laughs> Simply but smart, that's good. I look around, well, it looks like we have everyone's attention. Alright, liquor, let's turn off the heat. Shopping cart, sprinkler, running man! Oh girl, the sprinkler. I put up the classic. Hand beating hand, pointer fingers out, pointing out, make eye contact with several of the youths in the room. I think that makes them feel uncomfortable, but I push past it. <laughs> Joseph understands we must water it alone. It must become the end of the imaginary drone, the grass is dying. Don't worry, imaginary grass, we got you. you look around and youths, they're getting into it. Nice work, but we better pick up <laughs> or they lose interest quickly. Hammer's light, cabbage patch, the windmill. I will do the hammer slide. Try to do the hammer slide, honestly, is not a bad bit, but the kids don't get it too into <laughs> it. Good effort, buddy, but I think the flashback a little too long ago. No! I'm going to do it again! <laughs> so, the hammer slide is a terrible decision. The windmill or the cabbage patch? I will go for the cabbage patch. Yeah! You never can go wrong with a cabbage patch. Just follows my lead. We both take our arms and move around in circle as I assume we do in a cabbage patch. Look around the youths. I think they like agriculture. They are not looking too lively yet, but we can still turn it around. Oh gosh, you do the moonwalk, girl. I start sliding my feet backwards. I can tell if it looks good or not, but I think the kids haven't seen enough people doing moonwalks that they understand the general concept. Joseph makes a moonwalk attempt as well, surprisingly. Dude pulls it off flawlessly. Oh. It looks around to the youths, they're cheering. Alright, time for the big finish. Attempt to unbrace your back lift? No, girl, that's dangerous. Lift Joseph up dirty dancing style. Attempt an unrehearsed backflip. Dead drop. Dead drop gorgeous. Dead drop gorgeous, girl! Let's get sick, me! Yeah! Yeah, yes, bitch. Work. Stop it. Get some help. We move where I think I could nail it. On the other drop, I kick my left on a dramatic flood on the floor. My back landing on the ground with a snatch bomb. All the kissy minute start screaming. They know what's up. But what cause? It will feel my conspirator is going to be pappies. What was that? The future of dance! The kids swarm to the dance floor, they're laughing and dancing to the music. It looks like our job is done. The death drop gorgeous always works. Thanks, Sally Edwards. <laughs> Somehow oblivion the kids take the dance floor and starts to move around before long they are starting to laugh and enjoy themselves. It was dicey, but we've done our jobs. Nice. Come on, the rest of the chaperones. We'll take it from here. What? Oh. 
I have something to show you. Yosef leads me out of the main room, down to the various darkened corridors of the church. I can barely see anything and find myself tripping over my own feet. Yosef, I think I lost you. His son finds me in the darkness. I'm right here. I'm glad he can't see me blushing. We keep walking. Where are we? This church is huge. We're almost there. I actually have to admit that I was a little dishonest with you. I just didn't just invite you here to help me with the chaperone. What happened to lying being, uh, to lying being one of the things you are not supposed to do? I think there is an exception from where you are trying to surprise a friend. Just have closed the door behind us. I guess we're in a random room in the depths of the church now. What could possibly have plan? So last time we talked about escaping to an island when we have... Oh my gosh, he made a private island. Tropical lifestyle with the only worries, trying to find a lost shaker of salt. Since we can't actually do that, I figure we could bring a little bit of the tropics to Maple Bay. It's not quite Margarita Bell, but it's something like it. Is it drops on the lights? That's so cute! Welcome to Margarita Zone! <laughs> Looks around my eyes and just to the light. It's his office, but... There is a twinkle lights across the walls, twinkle garlands and fake flowers and two benches. Beach chair set up in the front of his desk. There is a blender with two glasses sitting on the table. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. This is adorable! Joseph! This is... This is amazing! Yeah. There is no pops to tops to the step on here, buddy. You did this for me? Joseph takes a seat and gestures him to do the same. It is for us. I think we both earned it. I settle in while Joseph pours us about margaritas. You really went all out. Hey. I have a fair on the dramatic. Uh, you can lead the community if you don't know how to make a good margarita. He takes a sip of mine. I take a sip of mine. This is a killer margarita. I will follow this man. Do you think the dance is going to be okay without all the sick dance moves? Yeah. No, not here. You are missing the point of Margarita Zone. <laughs> Margarita Zone is a place of rest and relaxation. It's a place where you can kick up your feet and forget about the worries for a while. Watch out for blown up flip flops. Let's get tattoo of Mexican cuties. It's heaven on it with an onion slice. Oh no! Fuck! I don't like the Mexican cuties. I think it's a racist. Watch out for the. Oh, yes, that one is so cute. It's a real fear. Thankfully, on the no heels, we cut on the version of Margarita Zone. The gesture to makeshift Islam bar he made. Uh, you know, it's funny. This reminds me so much of when I was younger. I've been meaning to ask. What did you do before you started preaching? Is. Uninteresting. I left home young and I got into a lot of trouble. What? Kind of trouble. Trouble made I go wherever I wanted, whenever I wanted. I hitched naked around the country when I had adventures and my kind of people did some stuff I'm not too proud of. But I was young and in love and I didn't have to answer to anybody. Hmm. And now I host fundraising cash washes and take kids to soccer practice on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to go heavy in here. It's okay. It seems like you spend a lot of time taking care of others, but not enough time talking care of yourself. If you need to talk about it, I'm here for you. Just stir deeply into my into the blender filled with ice margarita mix. <laughs> it's just I think about margarita bill a lot, or I guess the concept of it, a place where I could strum on my Six string while I'm wait for the stream to boil, drinking margaritas all the time, forget my worries. It's an easy life. I had a margarita bill once, yeah. oh. but I think the closest I'm ever going to get back to it, margarita zone, a short and occasional repetitive from the daily life. Is that such a bad thing? This is pretty nice. It doesn't last forever. That's rough. When you're in Margarita Zone, it's not like your problems really gone away. You are just choosing to ignore them. Yeah. Maybe you are looking at it the wrong way. Margarita Zone is actually better than Margarita Bill because Margarita Bill itself—it's an impossible idea. 
Remember what Spin Master Queen said? Sometimes you have to play the sad tunes to appreciate the bankers. Uh, if I'm stepping on a poop top, it's your biggest concern. How could you possibly appreciate the boiling shrimps? <laughs> hmm. And Margarita Zone isn't land located to this office. I think it's all about finding the little pieces of Margarita Zone through your day and taking joy in those moments. <laughs> That's awfully optimistic of you. It doesn't have to be anything big for me. I think it's being able to quietly do word jumbles and think some strong coffee in the morning to see my daughter smiles or... I smile to Joseph. Oh gosh. Spend some quality time with a good friend. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I can feel myself leaning closer to Joseph. It's just me or he's leaning closer too. Oh gosh. Joseph tense up, he downs the rest of the margarita and holds up to his chair. Uh, it's getting late, we should get back. <gasps> we have sexual tension. Joseph and I make sure that the dance wraps without incident before he takes me back to the cul-de-sac. I help up Joseph's car before he pulls into his own driveway. Uh. Thank you again for the help. Thanks again for the margarita zone. Ooh. Maybe we'll go back there one day. If we do, it'd be my own damn fault. <laughs> Zip chuckles and drive away. Oh. I walk into the living room to find Amanda colored under the blanket and growing into on the couch. Hey Panda, you feeling okay? Oh. Dad. I have a tummy ache. Eat too much shoot group food. Oh. I drank too deeply from the well of life and now I pay the price. <sighs> And by well of light, I mean the big lugworm punch bowl of seltzer juice and sherbet. Amanda lies on the floor with an elongated groan. Need anything, kiddo? A time machine that goes back approximately two hours in the past so I can warn myself of the folly of excess? <laughs> you poorly glass of. I pull your glass of crap. What? I cannot read. Love you, pops. How'd the dance go? Oh. I crush it. Got the kids into the dance floor at the expense of my dignity. A fair trade. Also, everything hurts. I see you in the morning, kiddo. Night, dad. Okay, that was the date. I'm not expecting anything less than an S. Give me an S, girl. Yes! I could just fall into your eyes. <gasps> That's so romantic. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, it's going to be enough for this date. It was adorable. It's really complicated to date this guy because it's nothing I like, like I will do or say it in the real life. So normally I choose like my normal instincts. And after that, that, when I know that my normal instincts doesn't work, then I switch it apart. Well, thankfully we have the load same file, so we can just, just keep it the bad parts and just getting an ass into the dates. I want to see the true ending of this game. So. Thank you so much for watching and to click the like button and subscribe. Also remember to leave a comment of what you think about this daddy or what is your favorite daddy. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, just wait because I'm going to have two dates with all the other daddies and then I'm going to do one individual ending for each one. So it's going to be so fun to watch. So remember to be the Fruit Loop in this world full of Cheerios and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao! Well, hello, square friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. Beach viewing. Go ahead.